Hello, everyone. Hello. It's DIY Wednesday, and we have some really fun stuff. I know we say that every week, but this is my favorite. Well, and we have been a little bit absent for a couple weeks, so it's even more fresh That's and, right. and delightful. We've been busy. So yes. today we are releasing our brand new 4th of July crafting kits. Never before seen. Yep. They'll and probably sell out like all the others. Oh, for sure they're going to. And if you know the Adornit Girls, 4th of July is our very favorite holiday. And so guess what? This month, instead of being four crafting kits, we have five. Five? Five crafting kits because we couldn't decide which one to kick out. It's true. They just kept coming and I was <laughs> like, oh, heck with it. We need them all. Yeah. Someone's going to buy them all. You got to collect all instead of four or five now. And we really actually had more than this. So this is what we've paired we, down. We narrowed it down. We really mm -hmm. have an obsession with 4th of July. Yes, we do. And it started with Georgie here. Why don't you tell real quick why? Why the 4th of July is my favorite holiday? Yeah. It kind of, I was married into my husband's family, which loves the 4th of July. And so I love the 4th of July, but okay, think about it. Good weather. You don't have to buy presents for anyone. Yeah. Um, Good food. Parades, Parade. good food, fireworks. fireworks. You get to dress Time up. Time with family. Yeah. I mean, it's better than Christmas. It's way better than Christmas. So, it's our favorite holiday. Yeah. And we get to close our store. There you go. Okay, so um, let's kind of dive in and show everybody these yeah, cute new Yeah, because I kits. know they're dying. Um, if you want to go find these, you're going to want to, what you're going to want to, because they're going to sell out, you're going to want to go to adornit.com, and I, I know you guys probably can't see this very good, but... Um, go to adornit.com and then there is a tab that says DIY it and you're going to click on the drop down which says DIY Wednesday or the project kits. They can be found in either section. Awesome. And that is where you're going to find all of these cute crafting kits. So adornit.com. So they are so adorable. Yes. Now should we talk about the awesome savings they're going to get or are we going to save that till the end? Let's save it to the end. Okay, you guys gotta wait till the end. Okay. Because it's awesome. Well, let's start off. This I can't really choose a favorite, but this one is really, really cute. Okay. This one is the Land That I Love Pennant. It is so cute. It's about 12 inches wide. It has laser cut, uh, the title, it says Land That I Love, and it has these darling firecrackers that are dimensional that have all been laser cut. And then you decoupage your wood on top of it. And then look how cute, I love a tassel. Oh, well, we are tassel fans. And so this is a tassel that you can create using the adornant ribbon yes. that comes in your kit. And we have a tassel maker and a YouTube video on how to make tassels. Mm -hmm. We do. So if you guys aren't subscribed to our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. you gotta go do that to find out all these fun DIY hacks. Yes. And if you haven't um, picked up one of our project kits before, you guys, these are awesome because it only it not only includes the wood, it includes the ribbon, includes the laser pieces, There's the so paper, much value. the stickers. Yeah. These are phenomenal value. And what's great about it is all of our crafters love it because you basically pick up the kit, you have your decoupage medium, some oh, paint. I love You're them. ready to go. Yeah, they are awesome because there's no thinking involved. You can just open it up and start putting it together like a puzzle. Yeah. So if you guys are puzzle lovers, you'll want to jump on these kits because it's just easy to go. The other nice thing about our kits is we don't, like if you just need this much paper, we give you a full sheet. So you're gonna have leftovers to make cards, mm -hmm. tags, and so the value, that's why I'm like, the There's value is value insane. Yeah, so okay, so that is the first kit, Land That I Love Pennant. Oh, so, so cute. it is darling. Now, if you're wondering, where do I put that? Your door, mm -hmm. a door, any door in your house, the wall. A cute stand. Yeah, a hutch, mm -hmm. any kind of knob. Yeah. Yeah, or we, this is a wreath holder. So if you retire one of your wreaths for the season and then you've got, you're good to go. Yeah, so, so it's a really cute. cute display. Okay, second kit is our darling. Um, this oh, one is heavens. called the Vintage Patriotic Pickup. It is so stinking cute. This is a cute shelf sitter and can sit really cute onto your shelf, onto a tabletop. Um, if you do cute tablescapes, this is darling. Um, 
all these pieces on top here are laser cut. So it has a lot of really fun dimension on here. Um, you didn't make any shortcuts with the designs on this. It yeah. is just, it is farmhouse um, inspired. It's adorable. Yeah. It goes for anyone's home. It is adorable. Yeah. So if you're a farmhouse girl, this is right up your right alley. Right up your alley. Yeah. So it's an adorable vintage uh, patriotic pickup. So that is just so cute. And like I said, it's a shelf sitter. So you can put it really anywhere that you want to just sit it. Yeah, you're cute. not going to need an easel. You can just sit it on your shelf and be good to go. Yeah. Okay, um, let's skip over here to our other shelf sitter, which is oh, the stop. Home Sweet USA. Did you get it? Instead of Home Sweet Home? Uh -huh. Home Sweet USA. <laughs> that was good. Darling. This one is really cute. This is probably our most simple kit out of all of these. So if you're yeah. looking for something really simple, really easy to do. Beginner. Or beginner. if you want to do it with your child, like my six-year-old would totally be able to do that and have a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. This is a cute one because it's just um, your back piece that you put your paper onto, your front piece, this is actually an overlay that goes on top, and then you can put your little uh, back piece in there so it silhouettes out the United States of America, and then includes this cute star, so you can actually put that star Where wherever you your home is. Oh, yeah. That's so cute. So that's a really, really cute fun <laughs> one. I love like. it. Now, that piece you can, again, put on a shelf. Mm -hmm. You could attach some ribbon to hang it on a wall or a door. Mm -hmm. You could even put one of those brackets. So if you want to hang it on a nail, you could put um, the picture hanging a brackets on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To hang it. So your options are endless with that as well. Yeah. Okay. Everyone loves a cute banner swag. And you know that you can find cute ones from Adornet. Yes. They're always our most popular and sell out the fastest out of all the kits. So this year it is 4th of July. Look how so cute So cute. Is. This is an adorable kit. I love kit. it. My heart swooned when I saw it. <laughs> it was love at first sight. The, okay, so in this kit, you're gonna get all these cute tags. You're gonna get all these pieces, the large letter pieces that say 4th of July. Look how cute in the center of that star. <laughs> so cute. Um, the cutout that says of, the cute little tags. <laughs> the ribbon, look how cute that ribbon is. It is a blue ribbon with stars that have been screened onto it. Um, just darling yeah and for all of those who are new to adornit this is all adornit products we have been manufacturing for how many years forever 30. yeah <laughs> 30 years for 30 years and so all of these products are manufactured by adornit so these are adornit products adornit kits and adornit ideas that you're getting okay now what i love about this cute swag is as we we're kind of creating it um we had some of those stars that you can see that aren't painted right and so as we were kind of going over it, the whole team puts in their opinions mm -hmm. of how um, things should change or how it should look. And so everyone's like, leave those stars the natural wood. I love that. I love the farmhouse um, style that that natural wood gives yeah, off. It's so, so you'll see cute. here that some of those stars we didn't even paint. Yeah. So that's a really fun twist on this, it's I think. It's so fun. And the fact that you can just glaze it or leave it the natural wood and then where we're using a laser machine to cut all this, um, it's really neat that you get some of those burn marks on it. Mm -hmm. So it's got some of that extra vintage distressing to it and it just gives it a little more of a cozy feel. Yeah, I would say this is very much like a fun farmhouse 4th of July collection. Yes. So that is a really cute one. So that includes all your laser cut word pe or letters. It includes the paper, it includes stickers, it includes ribbon. This is the best value. This is like a $30 value. And it's only $15. Oh, we're releasing the price. So it's half, it's half off. Yeah. So you're going to want to get that. That's a steal. $15 for that kit. Yeah. And that's, that's it. That's a really awesome value for that one. Okay. That's a steal. I think this next one's my favorite. Okay. It's really cute. Um, everybody loves a cute flag. Yes. And look how cute this one is. It's Pinterest inspired. And you guys, everyone loves adornment fabric. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time now that we're putting fabric in the in kit. In the craft kit. Which our fabric is unlike any other. It is yummy. It is double wash. It is beautiful. There's no shrink in it. Yeah. And so you guys are going to get a taste of the adornment fabric in this kit. And so you don't have to sew. That's what's great about oh. this. Oh. Is there's no sewing involved. We love a good 
cutting of corners. So we're gonna actually put this one together, but let's just kind of talk about it for a minute. So you can see that we have stripped the fabric. So cute. Um, there's the red and the cream. And then the top piece has the paper decoupaged onto it. Mm -hmm. There's layers of stars on here. So there's a lot of really cute dimension. So cute. And then it's hung by this cute ribbon. The twill. Yes. So it is absolutely darling. So this, once again, hang it on a door. That's where I'm putting mine. So cute. Um, you can hang it on a wall. You mm -hmm. can hang it. A gallery wall. Gallery wall on a wreath hanger like we've done here. Put mm -hmm. it on a um, shelf. Oh, just so many fun different ways you can display that cute flag. It's so cute. Pantry door. Oh, cute. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's get started because I'm going to show you how we're going to put this together. So your kit, we've kind of talked to you about all the pieces that you get in these kits. So this um, flag kit, you see you're gonna get three papers, you're going to get ribbon. This is printed ribbon. This is a Dornet printed uh, twill ribbon. It's beautiful. That is really cute and American um, words on it. Patriotic, freedom, peace, love, all of those beautiful words on there. Um, and then, like I said, you're going to get the Adornet fabric. You're going to get yardage. So you're going to get, um, it's about a quarter of a yard that wow. you're going to be getting of each of these fabrics, a little bit less than a quarter, because um, you don't need a whole lot. No, a little this. bit goes a long ways. And so you're going to get the two different styles. You're going to get this darling red jumble star, and then you're going to get our disarray red, and then you're going to get this really cute paisley cream. Oh, how cute. So I absolutely love this, and I love that... Um, in throughout all these kits, you'll see that we use a cream and then we also use a white. And I love that mixture of those farmhouse colors uh, to mix that cream in the white. I think it yeah. looks really, really cute. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to get this top piece. Now, we've taken the work out of it because you will see here there's a scallop edge and there's holes that have already been pre-cut. <laughs> yes, so I love a good we love a pre-done thing. Yeah, so we thought of you guys. Who wants to drill holes? Not no. me. So we have done that hard work for you. So you can see here, that's how that comes. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to get your really cute star paper. This one is called Dizzy Stars. I designed it. Yes, Allison did design this one. This one is really fun because it has all the stars that are linear and go up and down. So you can put this vertical or you could put it horizontal, whichever direction that you prefer. We did ours vertical. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to flip that over so your front side is facing down. Okay. And then you can trace it so that you can cut that out. Or if you're like me, I like to put my decoupage medium on it, flip it over, and then X-Acto knife cut that. So either of those methods work fantastic as you are um, going along. I have actually already pre-cut mine, so you can see here so that cute. I have cut out my top piece, and then I've also cut out my circles there. Now, we love zip dry. Oh, it is the glue of choice. Um, it's fantastic. I was working with one of our cute new employees yesterday, and she was helping me put these together, and she's like, I'm in love with this glue. I'm like, I know. It's Anyone awesome. who tries it. Anyone that tries so it's it by loves Beacon it. Adhesives. You can probably buy it at your local scrapbook store. Um, you can also find it at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and scrapbook.com. And you can a see preferred I'm, vendor. I'm just putting it right there around a the edges. Of it. And I'm going to put a little bit right here on the edges of these scallops. Mm -hmm. And it does dry pretty fast. So um, you want to work quickly. You don't want to give it a lot of. Um, time and then you're going to just lay your paper right on top a little bit of that goes a long ways and it seals really well mm -hmm. so then I'm just going to make sure it lines up and smooth it down with my hands mm -hmm. if you're gonna put this outside you might want to put a top coat on this so if you're gonna put a top coat on um, I'd probably use a Mod Podge yeah, because um, that's going to seal it. So if it gets in a, any moisture on it, it's going to just give a little bit of protection. A protection. Um, a Krylon matte spray works mm -hmm. great as well yeah. to seal it. Or mom's um, go-to is hairspray. Or I would even just take clear um, gloss spray paint, hold it really back, give it, shoot it with a couple coats, and that's going to lacquer it, mm -hmm. and you'll be good to go. 
Okay, easy as pie. Look at that. It's already adhered. It's ready to go. So Look at this that. Is the top we're in piece. it like five minutes, and we're <laughs> almost done with the project. Okay, so now we're going to get out this cute fabric. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to use about an one inch strip. Okay. Um, I was doing about a two inch strip and I, I felt like that was too thick. Too bulky. So I actually went through and I cut my strips down. So I just kind of eyeball it. And all you have to do is you just make a small cut to get your um, seam started. If yeah. you want this to be very straight and not shabby, then I would use a rotary cutter and cut those with one inch strips. Yeah. I love this stringy look though, so I am just going to tear it. The farmhouse raggedy look though is so in. It is. So all you have to do is you just go through and start it's my stripping my favorite it. trick. And if it does not make a straight one inch, see this is a little bit skinnier at the end, that's okay. Because it does not have to be perfect, people. Mm -mm. That's what I love about crafting is let the perfectionism go out the window. Yeah. And try some of these ragged, non-perfect things because they kind of make your yourself calm down. It's like, oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I went out the lines. I I ripped and what shredded the edges. You can see I'm just eyeballing the inch. I don't need it to be exactly perfect. In this day and age where we live with so many things being ma manufactured overseas, which isn't bad, but to see the true hominess, some of these ragged edges kind of bring that. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's fun when you see the imperfections of crafting is you know that it was handmade and homemade. And, and that really stands out amongst all the stuff that you can buy uh, pre-manufactured. Mm -hmm. I agree. It gives it that personality. Mm -hmm. So now you can see I am working on this cream. Allie, why don't you start shredding over here? Do this one too. Okay. So go ahead. I want you guys to see how easy it is. It's so easy. It's one of my favorite tricks. You need a sharp pair of scissors though to get it started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. Okay. So if then, you have a kid, put them to work. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Involve your children. That's always fun. Okay, so you can see here, we're just gonna start with the red. And um, there is the selvage on the fabric. So I, you could use the selvage on there, it doesn't matter, but I just clipped mine off. Oh, okay. Um, so I just took a pair of scissors and just snipped off that selvage on there. But the selvage is cute too, so you don't necessarily have to do that. Right. Um, so then what you're gonna wanna do is you are gonna take your fabric and you are going to fold it in half. You're gonna wanna make sure your edges at the bottom are lined up as much as you possibly can. And then you are going to um, just string that through your hole right there that's already pre-drilled out for you. So you're gonna pull that through and I'm using the end that's not folded in half. So it's the two loose ends right there. And then you are going to pull it through and then up here where it's folded, you're going to put your mm. fabric through. I would have done that, not that way, that's smart. And then. Good, good tip. It's tied. That's a good tip. See that? And then it allows your fabric to come down and then they're pretty well lined up at the end so that it's straight. So then you're just gonna do the next one. I did two reds and then, um, so I did one star and now I'm gonna, going to do my disarray red. So once again, I'll show you, you fold it in half. I'm going to cut off my selvages at those ends. Okay. Then you're going to go to the next hole that's drilled. Take that end, pull it up through. Again, it's the end that you just cut, so there's two loose ends here. I did something wrong. Oh, I'm pulling my stars up through. That's what's wrong. We're live, people. Okay. There we go. All right, so you can see here, here's my folded edge, so you can see that it's a loop right there. You so see cute. that? I'm gonna put my other end through and just loop it. And then you can kind of manipulate it and have your fabric kind of show through. If you don't like it, flip it over, 
just, it's really moldable by doing it this way because you're not gluing anything. Mm -hmm. If you need to untie it and tear it off and start again, then you can. But you can see there Cute. how that works. Perfect. So now you would want to go to your cream. So once again, fold it in half. If you want, cut off the selvages. I'll show you one more time. And I did two creams, so I did two reds and then I did two creams. Now, in the center, you're only going to do one cream if you want to do it exactly the way I did it because there was an odd amount of holes. Okay. So in the center, and I don't think you can even tell. No. Um, so that's what we did. So once again, I'm pulling it through and looping it. Easy peasy. And there you can see. So that is how you start to put together. And you're going to have these loose strings because of the way we tore that fabric mm -hmm. and just pull them off. It's going to fray the edges of that fabric even more and give it more of that shabby um, feel, that farmhouse feel that you want. So you can just pull those strings off. Okay, and you'll just keep working your way down the flag. Yes. And I think that's just perfect. So fun. Okay, so now you can see that inside this flag there's also some trim. Um, there's some ribbon in here. You can see that we used that really cute uh, America ribbon that I told you about. Mm -hmm. So to add those, I just added the cream right on top of my cream ribbons. Oh, okay. And I only did three strips. So you can tie it in between any of them. Um, and what I did for this is I did not loop it the same way I did the fabric. I simply kind of went, okay, here's my fabric and kind of laid it out on my workspace. And then I just eyeballed it and said, okay, I need about that much. I'm going to give myself another two inches at the top, kind of trim it like that so you have a longer piece. And then all I did is I took that and ran it through the, the hole. hole where my fabric already is. And I'm just going to poke that through to the other side, flip it over, and I'm going to tie a knot on the end to get that to stay. So you can see here, I just tie a knot, and that allows it to stay. Love it. Like that. And then you can kind of flip it over so that your the writing is there. So I did that for the red polka dot ribbon that comes in the kit and this cute twill. Perfect. So isn't that fun? Love it. Oh, so that's all you have to do for that. So, so you just cute. keep working your way down the flag. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you'll see then we have the cute stars up there. Um, Allison, do you want to decoupage a star? Yeah. Okay, so your kit's going to come with two stars. Okay. So she's going to use this really cute star paper, Patriotic Stars. And it's really cute because it has the white background with those cute stars. Love, love, love. And she'll show you how to do that. I am going to do this cute dimensional fan that's up there. I love the cute dimension mm, that that so creates cute. and it adds a little bit personality to it I think mm -hmm. um, instead of just being really flat onto your project. So I'll show you while she's doing that I'll show you how to create that. So now I um, did three inch squares. I felt like that was a really good size for the star so I want you guys to remember that. Um, so three inches I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here and cut myself a three inch square. If you have a paper trimmer then that would work great. Yeah, I'm just traced it on. It's fun how easy this is. Like I said, if you are a puzzle lover, um, get into crafting and DIY because it's fun. And it's kind of the same premise with our kits. We really walk you through uh, how easy it is in the instructions. And you get everything you need to make that kit so you're not like, oh crap, now I gotta run to Hobby Lobby and go buy this. Mm -hmm. It's true. Like sometimes when you're getting inspired on Pinterest, it's all fun and games until you run out of stuff. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to show you guys because Allie said you have lots of leftovers. Okay, you can see you have all this sheet left over. It's like ridiculous how much stuff you get with this and kit. And then you have this sheet left over. So look, you can still make some really cute crafting stuff with that. So many. Like you can make really cute little things for a dinner. Mm -hmm. You can decorate like a little bucket for utensils with your leftovers. It... Okay, so for this fan, I've cut my three three-inch squares, and now I'm going to fan it. So that means that I am going back and forth folding it, like you did in elementary school when you made paper fans. 
Yeah. Okay? It's that easy. So you're going back to your elementary days and you're just folding back and forth to get that to work. Accordion, I guess is the right word. So I'm going to accordion all three of these. Oh, I'm done. Allie's done. Look at that. Easy yeah. enough. Okay. And then the blue. Yes. So I have some paint and a paintbrush. Oh, okay. And you guys have all heard us talk about this before. Our water brushes make awesome toll brushes. So mm -hmm. brushes with acrylic paint. Um, because the funnel, you can feed it with water if you want. The Georgie taught me that one time. Just take the lid off and use the cap and it's got paint loaded in. <laughs> Any shortcut, right? Any shortcut works felt great. felt foolish for what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, just do this. Yeah. Okay, so I have my three squares all accordioned. And then what you're going to do is you are going to... Um, crease it in the half so you're going to fold it right in half and that creates this fan see and so um, you're going to do that to all three shapes here you're going to fold it in half and now this um, next part works really good with a hot glue gun because I feel like you need an adhesive that dries very quickly um, so I would recommend getting a hot glue gun I don't have one today but if you have one laying around your crafting stash that's yeah. what I recommend um, staplers work great Mm -hmm. um, for bigger fans, these ones are a little bit harder because these are tiny. You can see how small that is. But what you want to do is you want to add adhesive um, right here to close up where you folded that. So you actually want that to close to create that fan. So you can see here I can take and I can pinch those two papers and I can try and get the stapler in there to adhere that. So you can see now I have a fan. Now the reason, you could just do two fans um, to create your full circle, but I feel like when you do three, it just gives you a little bit more oomph to that circle, and it's not quite as hard because this is a small fan. Um, it's a little bit easier to work with. So I recommend doing three. So you can see there's my second one, and then here's my third one, and I'm just pinching those two pieces in the center together and I'm sandwiching my stapler in there to add that closure. And that's where I say a hot glue gun would work great um, because it's fast drying, but in the long term, if you put it out on your um, front porch or something, that heat would activate that glue again. So that's, a, that's the downside of hot, hot glue. glue guns. So then what you're going to do is you're going to now just Put all those fan pieces together like a little puzzle. It gives it. It is so cute. On that star. Love it. So cute. So I'm going to try and do this. If you had a small stapler, I think. Yeah, like go to Staples stapler. Or, or get like one of those baby size staplers. I think that would really be get helpful. in there. Yeah. I just used what we had here at the warehouse. So. If you've been to a warehouse, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not as cool as our craft station, okay? We're going to have to get a mini stapler to add to our stuff. Yeah. But look, I used a big stapler and it worked fine. Yeah. So um, there is your cute fan. It is so So cute. then I'm just going to take this cute star that Allison decoupaged and I'm going to take some zip dry and I'm going to put a big puddle of glue on this because yeah. I want it to hold. So yeah. I'm putting a big puddle of glue right there and I'm going to put my fan on top of it. And then more zip dry. And then I'm going to add more glue in the center. Now, if you have like the Eileen's um, craft, glue. craft glue, this would be perfect for this too. And I'm just going to layer that. And you're going to want to hold it for quite some time so that it allows it to dry. Mm -hmm. The zip dry is quick drying, so it's not it's too bad. Painfully long. But um, where those are thick pieces, you're going to, and that I put a lot of glue down, you're going to mm -hmm. want to allow that to dry. So, but you can see, you know, what the effect of that is going to be. Yeah. So that's so going to be cute. cute. All you have to do is add that now onto there. I used to zip dry again, again to adhere this to this. Wood to wood. It's amazing how it stacks and layers. And like when I used to Mod Podge, I'd then have to pull the glue gun out. And it was just all this stuff. The zip dry really cuts the corner and allows you to do so many things with it. Yeah. So that is how you make that cute flag. So, so cute. Really easy. You don't need to sew anything to have that cute fabric. 
And like I said before, we've never put fabric in before. So this is really fun. We're excited yeah. about this one. Okay, so should we kind of go over prices now? Yes. Okay, so each of these. Are you all been waiting for? Yeah. You can get them all individually. So mm -hmm. they are, um, some of them are half price, like this 4th of July swag, where it's a value of $30. Um, but they're all across the board, $15 each. So that's an awesome savings, because like so I said awesome. before, it includes everything you need, minus your decoupage adhesive and your paint. Yes. So. And hurry, because supplies are limited. We only have so many kits mm -hmm. before we run out. And we sell out fast, you guys. Yeah. Um, and if you are local, then you're going to want to place your order on the website, too, because we won't have these down to yeah. the store not at the for a while. Store. Yeah. Um, but if you want to get all six of these, drum roll. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All five, sorry, not six. We had six and we dropped Kicked one, one out. out. Okay. All, all five. five. <laughs> they are only $60 for this whole oh collection. Oh that's awesome. So you are actually getting them for $12.50 a kit. That's crazy. So that is a huge savings to get all of five of these really cute kits for $12.50. So the have total of that girls' 60. night. You guys have enough time to make them and enjoy them for the 4th of July season. Yes. So, okay, should we go over them real quick one yes. more time? Okay, so we, let me pull all this out of the way. We had the fun crafting. We have the cute land that I love pennant. So With cute. that cute tassel. A little tassel. Everything you see there comes in the kit. There's not even any painting on that one. So basically That's all so you awesome. need for that one is your adhesive and you're good to go. The second one is our vintage patriotic pickup. And everything on that one, you just need some paint. So that one is really fun. I love the dimension of that one. That one's a so really, cute. really cute one. There is some intricate um, decoupaging on that one. So I would say that that one does take a little bit of time because you do need to get out your X-Acto knife to kind of really get into those different stars and that cute little fence. Yeah. Um, but if you want, you can just paint them too. So mm -hmm. then you don't have to decoupage your paper on. So right. I would say that's your little cheat is if you just wanted to paint those instead of adding the paper on it. So cute. And that's cute. Okay, then we have our Home Sweet USA uh, wall sitter, or shelf sitter, and this one is probably, like I said, the easiest one out of all of them. Not as much um, intricate pieces on this one, but it's cute, and you can move that cute star to wherever your home is yes, to personalize so it. Then we have our 4th of July swag. Mm, which is always a heart stopper. It is. That one's really cute, has a lot of pieces in it. And it's cute. This is probably the one that's going to take the most time because there are so many different letters in yes. this one and the cute tags and the cute ribbon. So there's a lot of um, pieces to this one, which is what makes it so cute. Okay, and then last is the cute um, shabby oh, flag, so the cute. one that we just made it a minute ago. Mm -hmm. And it comes with all this adornant fabric yeah. inside of it. Love it. And you'll be able to feel how soft our adornment fabric is. Good quality. Okay, so once again, if you want to get all five of these kits, you can get it for a still of a deal, which is only $60. You're going to want to add that to your cart. We have a limited supply. You're going to want to jump on those mm -hmm. and have some fun crafting. Yes. Get crafting, have the girlfriends over, your mom and sisters, and get, get it out and just relax and make something for your home or for someone else. That's right. Okay, so you can grab all these kits at your local scrapbooking store. On uh, your local craft store, you can ask them for Adornit craft kits, or you can go to adornit.com, and you're going to want to go to the DIY tab, and then click on project kits to add those to your cart. Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.